Hey guys, what's up? It's Luca, and um, it's been one month since I've been on testosterone, and I thought I'd make an update video. If this one doesn't work, I'm not doing this again. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Luca, and it's been way too long. It's been a year and nine months since I've been on testosterone, and I thought I would talk to you guys about the changes. Let's do this. So, first, I think the number one thing that most people care about in these things are are the physical changes, which both annoys me and com I completely understand because that's probably that's definitely what I cared about most before I started uh, my own personal journey and decided to medically transition. All right, so my voice. Uh, this is a voice compar comparison. So. The day is Tuesday, September 18th, 2018. My name is Luca, and this is my voice. One year and nine months on testosterone. Alright, people say jawline. Honestly, dude, I, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't lived the, the most healthy lifestyle, so I feel like I got a little bit more chubby. But this is my jawline. Uh, this is my jawline. Uh, yeah. So that's what it looks like. I don't know if I have another picture that'll uh, fucking show you guys what I look like beforehand. So I don't really know. Oh, facial hair. That was a big change for me. I cared about this one, but I really didn't want facial hair. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, I have. I feel like. The facial hair right here is really thick, but the one, the stuff on my cheek is still kind of like soft and kind of like still kind of peach fuzzy e. So I just started growing facial hair, like really growing it. Uh, so yeah. Oh, acne. Um, this one was, I felt very self-conscious about this because I was like 21 years old with like really, or 22 years old with like really bad acne. That made me feel a little self-conscious just personally, but it cleared up and I, I want to say that I like stuck to like this really awesome facial care routine, routine and stuff. I really didn't. I washed my face, uh, you know, once a day, but if that, to be honest, yikes, uh, neck, I don't know if my neck got wider, I don't really, I didn't really pay attention to my physical changes, guys, uh, I think I, I, I changed, I, I paid attention to them a lot when I, like, first, first started tea, because I was, like, really excited, and then after a year kind of passed, I was like, oh my god, I just want to worry about life, and then, so yeah, um, yeah, the most interesting thing for me was socialization. So the way that people viewed me, uh, that was the coolest part of, of my transition because, uh, it was cool to finally see people treat me the way that I would like to be treated. Uh, um, ask me the questions that I would have liked them to ask me. Uh, and... And then it, it came to a place where people started treating me the way that I wanted to be treated. So I got the opportunity to start to ask myself like different questions than I, than I ever, you know, ha got to ask myself as a person, which was, you know, instead of asking myself, you know, like, what am I, who am I, I finally get to ask myself now, who do I want to be? And I feel like that has been the best part about deciding to medically transition. Um, yeah, I mean, I get, I get, with socialization, I now hear people say, I've heard people say how they feel in a realm where they viewed me as a woman. And now I hear people talk to me in a realm in which they view me as a man. So the things that I hear and see have changed, uh, and that did change the way that I view people. I think for a second, it did make me very depressed. <laughs> uh, it did make me very depressed because I think I felt isolated from 
everyone, you know, from both groups. I, I felt as if, you know, I wasn't connecting with a group that I once was connecting with. And I was connecting fine with the other group, but it felt like they weren't connecting with me. And it felt like because of that, I was suffering, but I also feel like that is how it has always felt. So, um, noticing that that, that feeling didn't change was, uh, it was kind of hard, actually. Uh, I would kind of wish that, that that feeling did change. But I think that that, the feeling that that is, it was rooted in, like, safety. Um, you know, feeling like I didn't feel safe in this space, and I didn't feel safe, and, and then I didn't feel safe in my new space, and that's what, uh, I feel like led to a, a lot of anxiety, and a lot of, like, um, I don't know. I don't completely have the words for that feeling yet, so uh, I'll work on it, and then I'll come back to you guys when I feel like I can really talk to you guys about what that feeling was. Um, family and friends. Uh, to be honest, I kind of made a whole new group of friends. That was just because, you know, the age in which I was, and also it was really hard to transition for me in front of people. Um... I did not, I could not take being misgendered anymore, and it just wasn't, it wasn't good for my mental health, so I figured I would just, you know, kind of leave that world behind and just move on to something else. Um, and I can't say that I feel that it was a bad decision, but, uh, I definitely, I had to go find a different community to be a part of, and that was cool and challenging, and that's definitely a part of growing up, so, yeah, but I think that's just life. So, all in all, guys, before I had transitioned medically, I was always... A transgender person that is something that I would love for people to understand so that means that this is just my personal journey my medical transition so far has been just testosterone I have not proceeded to get uh, top surgery yet uh, though I am looking into it uh, I will make a whole video on how I feel about that uh, thanks for listening, guys. I, it's been so long. I wish I was more consistent. But this is just who I am. So uh, I'm working on it, but it's going to take some time. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll uh, see you guys soon. still watching so you should uh click right there and subscribe looks like you like this i like that <laughs>